We collaborated with Gran Turismo to create a car for the game. A racing suit, a helmet and some boots and gloves, like a full kind of package. The starting point for the project was really looking at the glamorous adverts of Dior Parfum from like the 60s to the 80s. They were sort of evoking this glamorous lifestyle. Different perfumes would sponsor car races like the Dakar Rally, the Le Mans 24 hour race. The car, it's this incredibly limited Tommaso Mangusta. It was sort in a like global way from the car to the outfit. Those like nice colors, they are pop but they're not too flashy. The sponsoring was like put in specific places. The right logos were used from the right period because we used like that 60s, 60s and 70s logos also with a CD diamond. The Dior oblique was used in a very subtle way, more like tonal on the outfit. The sole is something that we have in Diorison. We changed the upper to have something more sporty and more uh, related to what car footwear should be. In the history of the game, but also of racing cars, I think the yellow is something like quite iconic. We chose the cream um, color for the car. The shape itself is so strong and it's got all these sponsorship logos over it. So we actually wanted the car itself to look quietly kind of understated. 1947 is a very um, important number for Dior. It is the year that Christian Dior founded the Maison. So whenever we're doing any sort of project at Dior, we, we always look directly back into the archive, find a way of connecting it always to Monsieur Dior himself. The idea of having a, a big French couture house collaborating with the most iconic race car game was, was just amazing. And I think the last edition of Contrismo is so elevated in terms of options and luxury that it was a perfect marriage on that project.